my brothers and sisters, good morning. This is the morning prayer for Sunday, May 8th, 2022, the fourth Sunday of Easter. And let us begin our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give you thanks forever and ever. We will tell your praise from age to age. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sisters and brothers, to follow in the footsteps of our shepherd is to pass through the valley of death and to the glory of life, live to the full in his presence. Let us pray always for the reassurance of his guiding hand and of his word, spoken through the word we will hear in today's Eucharistic liturgy and through those appointed to lead us in his name. And let us pray. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the baths of the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the book of Numbers. Moses said to the Lord, May the Lord, the God of the spirits of all mankind, set over the community a man who shall act as their leader in all things, to guide them in all their actions, that the Lord's community may not be like sheep without a shepherd. The Word of the Lord. And on this Sunday morning, brothers and sisters, let us pray and recite the Canticle of Zechariah, and let us pray. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Intercessions Sisters and brothers, let us pray for all those who have been appointed as shepherds in the church. And the response is, O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. O Shepherd of all shepherds, guide and strengthen our Holy Father, that he may always shepherd your flock in the image of Christ. And the response, O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. O Shepherd of all shepherds, inspire our local bishops that they may lead your people safely with nothing to fear. And the response, O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. O Shepherd of all shepherds, be with our local pastors that they may care for the lost. And the response, O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. And let us offer to God our own personal intentions, culled from the silence of our hearts. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. And let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us pray. O God, our shepherd, you care for your flock across every desert and through every dark place. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, seek out and restore all those who have lost their way, that we may all come together into the glory of the kingdom of your risen Son, our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And let us end our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good day, everybody.